What is up guys, it is Insomnia from the Mexican Gamers channel, bringing you some FIFA 12 gameplay for you guys, Barcelona versus Manchester City. Yes, Barcelona in real life this past weekend won 8-0 guys, 8-0, which is nuts for a football game. Um, they beat Osasuna 8-0, Messi had a hat-trick, like a beast he is, hat-trick pretty much, it is, it's uh, three goals in one game, and uh, Messi just went nuts, um, Barcelona had to go out there and prove themselves because, you know, they had only tied two games, and people were already saying that, you know, they, they weren't as good, the, the shine wasn't there anymore, and stuff like that, which is, is, is dumb to think you know to think that way because Barca I mean it's only two draws they hadn't even lost the game I think they're still um, undefeated this season so there's my lineup guys there was my lineup you guys saw I didn't have Alexis Sanchez starting I, I actually like to put Pedro in as a starter and then bring Alexis Sanchez off the bench um, I don't know it just works out that way for me I've seen uh, the coach Pep Guardiola in real life he's, he's done that movement and it works out um, but let's get to the gameplay and the way I, I my thoughts and opinions on you know the way the thing has evolved because I think they're bringing in a new engine or something like that um, which you know it's good it's hard to play defense in this game though it's a very hard mechanic before you can just hold down X or, or circle I think it was X and I think you, you can still do that but you know before you could just hold it down and, and the player would do the defense by its own which was it wasn't really that hard to take the ball away but now it is now if you click you know square or I mean now if you click a circle to do a tackle on a, on an enemy and if you miss if you mistime it you're gonna be punished for it because uh, your player is gonna lose speed and you know that player that the opponents probably gonna get the edge on you they're gonna blow right past you so you know, you have to time it correctly. You have to time your tackles correctly. Um, you also can't just leave the same player in the game. That's This is what I heard from the guy at GameStop. He told me that you're not going to be able to, you know, um, freaking leave the same player running for 90 minutes in the game without him, you know, having some sort of injury. Or he's going to have a high risk of injury. So you're going to have to move your substitutes. If you see that one of your players is really tired, it is ideal for you to, you know, take him out. Uh, as before in the other FIFAs, you really didn't have to take him out. They were just kind of slow. But now they're, they're probably going to get injured. Um, so it will be ideal. So that's, that's one thing they changed. Also, the dribbling. They changed the... Uh, the way the ball mechanics move so the ball it has more of a bounce to it it has more of a live feel to it as before it was kind of stuck to your your player's feet now you kind of it's kind of more realistic it feels more realistic which is a good thing and there's Messi with the inside of his left foot that was pretty sweet um you know but yeah it, it feels more realistic the game and it also looks I think the graphics personally I, I like them better um, compared to the other ones I think the overall experience is better, at least in my eyes, but it was more challenging. Um, I did feel like the computer actually had some sort of fight in them, although I beat them kind of bad, as you, you guys are going to see the score in the end. But, you know, it was challenging, especially the, the defensive side, like I was saying. The tackles, you have to time, time them right. The defender will blow right by you, believe me, if you don't time your, your tackles right. Um, it, it is more difficult to stay stay with the player. It feels like the computer has more is more mobile. Like, it is, it doesn't move as robotic as it used to. It, it has more of a... I don't know. It, it, it's, it's weird, but it's hard to stick with the defense. And it's going to take me some time to get used to, but I will. I think I am going to pick up FIFA 12. Well, I'm, I'm more than likely going to pick it up. It releases September 27th, which is next Tuesday, a week from now. And uh, I'm not exactly sure if I'm going to pick it up, you know, in release date. Because I'm, I'm planning a road trip uh, this weekend. I'm going to go visit some friends in college. But uh, I'm not exactly sure if I am going to pick it up, you know, right on release date. But I, I, I do plan on picking it up at least the first days of October, right before Battlefield 3 and stuff like that. And play it because it, it's a fun game. Um, you know, FIFA really isn't all that stressful unless you're really, really bad at it. And I, I'm not, by far, I'm not, you know, very, very good at this game. I used to play it, you know, th this is, was the only thing I would play when I had, uh, when I didn't have my PS3, I would play with uh, my sister's ex-boyfriend. I would play it in my PlayStation 2, we would play tournaments, he would pick his favorite teams from the Mexican Soccer League and I would pick my favorite team, which is America, um, but, you know, that that was a long time ago, then I got a PS3, I started playing Call of Duty, 
and uh, I stopped playing FIFA all that, you know that much. The, my last FIFA game that I played uh, was FIFA 2010, which I did get it for the PS3. It was actually a, a, an ex-girlfriend's gift, so uh, that's probably the only reason why I had it. But I'm very, very glad that, <laughs> that she gave me that as a gift because if not, I would not be looking forward to FIFA 12 and, uh, and uh, the other FIFA titles. Uh, but I, I'm a huge, huge uh, soccer fan or football fan, whatever you want to call it. I'm a huge soccer fan, and uh, you know I, I follow it every every weekend. You know the Mexican soccer league, I follow the Spanish soccer league, I follow the the Premier League, which is the one from England, and uh, the Italian league. I don't follow it. I don't I don't follow it all that much. I don't follow the German one all that much. Um, but you know I, I am a football fan, and here I think this is my last goal with Iniesta. Iniesta, unfortunately, in real life, he's injured right now. He's a hell of a player um, him and Xavi are the best midfielders in the game that's at least my opinion which is I mean why Barcelona is so dominant in real life for I me mean, and in and in video games they're, they're they're kind of the best in this video game too I'm pretty sure they will be um, but you know overall my overall impressions on the FIFA 2012 demo very very good two thumbs up but I recently just hit 50 subscribers so I want to thank all you guys my new subscribers as well um, I hope you guys are enjoying the content. I hope you guys continue to enjoy them. Thank you guys for all the support. I really, really appreciate it. It means a lot to me. 5-1 and one was the final score. Pretty bad beating. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.